scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Let's lift our hands to heaven, to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The Mighty One, to Jesus, the Son of the Living God. You are my hiding place You always fill my heart With songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say i am strong in the strength i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak Say I am strong Like you to open your mouth in one minute and cry to the God of heaven I have come tonight oh God for an encounter This is a miracle service I have come to see Jesus enthroned over every pain every sickness every infirmity are you praying He will come and save you He will come and save you Say to the weary ones Your God will surely come He will come and save you He will come and save you he will come and say, Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and say, Father, tonight we pray that you will walk wonders in the midst of your people. 
we have come to experience your power and to experience your grace we cry oh god and in the name of jesus that everything that does not name the name of christ it must bow to the lordship of jesus tonight let burdens be lifted tonight let gates and doors be open tonight let age-long captivities give way finally and for someone here your life is about to be an explanation that jesus is still alive that after tonight you will not need to talk much something about your life will testify that jesus is alive hallelujah last week i taught you that results are also evangelists there is a kind of gospel that only results can preach hallelujah for some of you you have been talking and giving explanations too long it's time to be still and let the mighty results that come through your life do the speaking your results will tell men there is a god in heaven your results will tell men he still loves you your results will tell men he's still a restorer your results will tell men he's still a deliverer in the name of jesus christ let your faith be alive don't be distracted this is a night to encounter God and to receive all that he's had in store for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. I welcome every one of us to our miracle service for January. Happens to be the first for this year 2022. What should you expect in, the mir in a miracle service like this? The manifestation of the power of God. It's as simple as that. To heal, to deliver, to bless. The preaching of the gospel is not complete until there is a demonstration of the power and the grace of God. It is important for men and women to know that Jesus is alive not just by the speakings of the saints, but the performance that only the mighty hand of God can bring hallelujah let me prophesy again that tonight there must be a performance in your life yeah. hallelujah it was charles and francis hunter of blessed memory who said one genuine miracle will be worth a thousand sermons one genuine miracle I believe in miracles. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the God that heals, the God that delivers. I believe in the God that restores. I believe in the God that can change the stories of men. It would be a dangerous thing if there is no possibility for our stories to be changed. That means your yesterday will still be your tomorrow. But there is a God who can create a divide between yesterday and today and tomorrow like the Red Sea parting. Listen, I want you to know that the power of God is in this place and you must lend your destiny your attention because as surely as the Lord leaves, whatever came with you here that was not sent by God, we know what God sent to go with you. And if there is anything that followed you to this place, as surely as the Lord lives, you are only seeing it for the last time. You are only seeing it for the last time. He said, these Egyptians that you see today, that you shall see them no more forever. You shall see them no more forever. This embarrassment, this shame, this reproach, this poverty, this hardship, 
you shall see it no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ you are in the presence of the King of Kings the Lord of Lords the all powerful God as soon as I came down from the vehicle I started sensing I know when one of the graces that God has given me is the ability to not only have anointings but to discern graces and know what it is what kind of workings of the spirit to be found in a place by the kind of grace that flows hallelujah and when I began to sense that anointing I knew for sure that there, there listen there will be such such a grace there is a grace that makes for performance performance means what you have heard you will see it is it is the grace listen it is the grace for performance that converts that which is spoken to that which is seen in the name of Jesus Christ give God a chance to surprise you tonight hallelujah let me start tonight the Lord put it in my heart while I was praying just to pray and speak a blessing all all of our precious family who have come from diaspora if you have come from any part of the world aside Nigeria please stand I want to start with you tonight what nation is that what's that Angola let's celebrate Angola hallelujah we may not have the time but there are literally people coming please help me honor and bless my uncle and auntie all the way from UK please can you give them a big big God bless you hallelujah whether you are the overflow whether and then for those following online by the way you are part of us so I'm going to pray for you thousands of people from everywhere why would someone travel 17 hours five hours one hour seven hours from one region to one region to encounter God only for them to return and the only testimony is that I came to church not here gentlemen there is a God in heaven this is the place of encounter do to me what you want this is the place of surrender this is the place where your life is changed in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray for all our foreign delegates and all those who have come from every part of this nation and then those who have come from around the world non-nigerians or those who have come in from diaspora in the name that is above all names i prophesy over your life right now the challenge you came here with by the god of heaven the maker of the heavens and the earth let it bow to the lordship of jesus now let it bow to the lordship of jesus now delay retrogression financial embarrassment spiritual bankruptcy we declare judgment over you now in the name of jesus the son of the living god every nation here represented i speak to you rise to a new dimension a new dimension of fire a new dimension of grace in the name of jesus christ and we use you as points of contact to speak to your nations by the power that raised Christ from the dead every nation here represented let there be angelic visitations over those territories 
hallelujah one of the ladies that came from angola where is angola the power of god is coming on two of you right now please bring them out let's start with you i'm seeing an anointing atmosphere she now chains be broken hallelujah in the name of jesus i stretch my hands you will take this grace and go back to angola great fire what do you do what tap this man for me what do you do I'm a come again i'm a businessman you're a businessman stand your life is about to change listen listen there is a grace that enthrones no king makes himself a king there is a grace that enthrones i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i stretch my hands towards you i shift you to a new dimension in business take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never 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 be the same in the name of jesus christ i open the gates of your business fair for you you will return a sign and a wonder my dear stand what's your name who is patricia what's your name antonietta patricia i want to pray for you there is an anointing that is coming upon you what do you do uh, I'm a business for two, three of us together. that's that's all right I, I, business for the government in angola. okay you create business because i am seeing not only angola huh write it down you have something to do with congo congo yes, drc congo drc Correct. what do you have to do with congo uh, we want to do commercialization of diamonds because i'm seeing god is bringing you favor from congo Amen. by reason of this i stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you may the gates of congo drc be open for you in the name of jesus christ celebrate jesus please go back to your seat quickly there is only one name there is only one name power to save with power to save hallelujah who is sylvester i'm hearing a name sylvester will be seated shortly who is sylvester you are wearing a brown like traditionals brown with short hands is there someone like that come where are you coming from what's your name come where are you coming from i'm coming from Airport, my my dear brother your life is about to change you came here praying I don't know you I don't know anything about you yes. I raised that song and the Holy Spirit told me Sylvester yes, in the name of Jesus Christ listen the grace tonight is the grace this kingmaker anointing the grace that is is enthroning man he said there is a, a I have seen a mystery that servants are riding on horses while princes walk afoot hear me anywhere you should be seated now anyone sitting there or any power stopping you from sitting by this anointing in the name of jesus help them please in the name that is above all names be seated in your rightful place by prophecy in the name of jesus Servants ride on horses while princes walk afoot but my bible says we have been made unto god kings and priests and that we reign on earth i'm about to pray i want you to bring those people outside there i'm seeing the number 21 there are 21 people if the anointing comes on you there is something wrong with your family there is witchcraft that is stopping people from rising this is what i'm seeing 21 people wherever they are by the name that is above all names i decree and declare let the power of god 
bring liberty now please bring them out every anomaly that is stopping those who should rise champions in the spirit yet bound by witchcraft he said lose him and let him go lose him and let him go open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of jesus those chains just chains over my life please bring them out lose him and let him go bound by the orchestrations of witchcraft i'm still praying families men and women destined to rise but there are powers sitting on their destinies and nobody seems to make progress you go to school it's like you didn't go to school you are connected to great people it's like you are not connected by the fire of the holy ghost let there be judgment over every wickedness judgment over every wickedness judgment over every wickedness hallelujah justina i'm hearing a name justina will be seated shortly but who is justina please let's not be careless don't just rush out carelessly justina who is that Where are you coming from, madam? Stand up. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing both of your hands tied in the spirit. Physically, there's nothing like that. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing both of your hands tied. Can I pray for you, madam? I don't know anything about you and your family, but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the chains that hold your hand and will not let you go, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it release you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. There is a woman here. I'm going to pray for people but there is a woman here I'm seeing a hand like this and it's counting five years without a child who is that five years one two three four five you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb it's time to end this thing once and for all please make sure you don't just come out carelessly five years there is a God in heaven I want to pray for you thank you Jesus Madam, look at me. Is your husband here? I think he should be outside. Oh, he's outside. <laughs> Madam, you believe in Jesus? I stretch my hands towards you. I will pray for you that have come, but particularly careful. Careful with her so she doesn't injure herself. Listen, look at me. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy to you, according to the time of life, I don't care what the medical report is, in that name that is above every other name, like Eli prophesied to Hannah, the power of God is coming on you right now. you receive your miracle child now. What's your name, my dear? This lady jumping. I want to pray for you. Madam, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. God is restoring business people. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. There, there, there is a certain crown that was on your head and yet that crown has been taken and you are moving as a king without crown. This is a prophetic word for someone but God is saying by his mercy, he's putting back that crown upon your head. He's putting back that crown of honor. There is no king without a crown. 
in the name of Jesus let there be that enthroning upon you by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please make sure you are not you don't just come out here carelessly what is this gentleman doing all of you five years this is your wife husband and wife hold your hands two of you just lift it up I want to pray for you look at me I cost that spirit huh now in the name of Jesus let them go now I release you by the Spirit of God the same way you stood here this is how you will stand with your wife holding your baby in the name of Jesus Christ now I use this as a point of contact and I pray for all those who are standing here every demon that is stopping you from taking in for 13 years sir you see the the church of the lord jesus christ is like a hospital you understand don't be ashamed and afraid when you are before the presence of god because he can surprise you madam 13 years yes sir you believe that you can return with your testimony? Yes, sir. Please lay one hand on your stomach. Even though I've prayed for everybody. Seven miscarriages. Huh? Seven miscarriages. It's all right, madam. Don't worry. You see, when Jesus comes, he does not come to sympathize with your problem. He comes to change it completely. Lay your hands, let me pray for you. Father, lay one hand on your womb. Lord Jesus, I stretch my hands right now over this man and his dear wife. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare that the spirit that is back of miscarriages, seven of them, let them go now. Release them and according to the time of life, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, return with your miracle in jesus name i pray why is that gentleman here huh Sir, I'm here. My, business is not working at all. my friend i will pray for you where eh? you just go back and i'm just just come when i call the cases right i know that you desire but you see we this thing we're not guessing we walk as the holy spirit helps us and leads us don't feel embarrassed huh? but i'll pray with you right so you just hang when we are praying you receive or if we call a case that is similar to yours then you come hallelujah why are they here 10 years you 10 years too i'll pray with you hallelujah eh. hallelujah eh. The power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw an anointing come on one of you. I'm going to pray for all of you, but this is the instruction God gave me. I just saw an anointing coming on one of you. And I decree and declare by the Spirit of grace, please don't come out at random. Um, let these ones represent all the ones who are not here by now. Praise God. The power of God is coming on one of you. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke everything that represents embarrassment in the area of career let it go now i prophesy to you in jesus name listen to me that soon after this miracle service the lord will surprise you with a job you will come and stand before the people of god and you will testify and i use them as a point of contact please help i'm seeing two people in the spirit like i will always say I'm seeing them run out by the anointing. Just help them. You can bring them out carefully so they don't injure themselves and those around them in this auditorium now. You know, there are angels that walk based on what the Holy Spirit is doing. And so sometimes uh, it's not just what I'm saying. There is God walking in the midst of his people. I am just seeing angels. There's, there's, there's a strong angelic manifestation and I'm seeing two people running, like running out by the anointing. God is breaking something that represents delay in their lives so when please when you have those two people bring them right now let me pray for these people so that we'll get into the business help them so they don't injure themselves and injure others gentlemen i use you as a point of contact to pray for everyone who is trusting god 
to honor you in that wise in the area of your career in the name of jesus let this be the miracle service that releases you in jesus name i pray amen and amen please bring them those two people that i mentioned right now who will begin to run out by the spirit if you if you've identified them let me have them here i want to pray for them right now hallelujah eh. hallelujah eh. Hallelujah. 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 They call you Junior. Who is that? Junior. You are at the back. This is what I'm seeing. They call you Junior. The Holy Ghost is showing me that this man is at the back. Who is that? What's your name? Huh? What's the name? Junior. Come. I want to pray for you. Where are you from, my friend? Niger State, sir. Huh? Niger. I want to pray for you because there is, there is restoration that God is bringing not only to you but to your family members I stretch my hands right now may that anointing come upon you and let things turn around take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy restoration even as the Lord is revealing to me let there be supernatural restoration even over your family in the name of Jesus Christ nothing missing nothing broken kept by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah something is going to happen here right now the lord is opening my eyes i'm seeing the map of nigeria and in that map i just saw like a wind and it's going towards the southwest and listen when god reveals things to me like this is because he's imparting people sometimes when i mention the states the power of god will meet the people of that state so i believe that the southwest represents a yoruba nation i'm stretching my hands right now in the name of jesus please bring them out the power of god there are families within that region if you belong to that region and there is anything tying you down this is your moment of release I decree and declare right now I'm telling you there's fire just coming on people I'd like you to identify them bring them out right now by the power of the Holy Spirit some of you are standing in for your family members you are not just standing for yourselves you are standing for your family members God is bringing liberty help that woman please in the name of Jesus at the count of three that anointing is coming right now one Two, Southwest. Three, take that fire now. In the name of Jesus, take that fire. Bring them as fast as you can. Every under the yoke and the bondage of darkness as represented in that region, I decree and declare that curse, that yoke, that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now there is a cause listen to me i'm seeing a yoke and an embargo that perpetuates poverty over families this is what i'm seeing no matter how hard working no matter how diligent 
this is not just the southwest thing again i think i should just finish with that because i want to break that yoke now listen pay attention to these prayers they are not just empty speakings it is the holy spirit identifying people's problems all those who are in front here and all those who are the overflows or wherever in the name of jesus every yoke tying your family those in front here at the count of three i command those devils to leave one two go go out of their lives now out of their destinies release them release their families in the name of jesus christ release them release their families in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray listen listen it is a dangerous thing to be a victim of the spirit of poverty it is poverty that leads to servitude it is poverty that creates the distraction that interrupts people from giving god their all waking up in the morning sleeping late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he brought you here to end this once and for all listen for some of you, your loved ones are sincere people, but they didn't have the opportunity to encounter the grace that will set them free. They were not lazy. It's just that these spirits move from generation to generation. Can I pray for you? This is a very serious prayer. Father, every family inside the overflows outside following online that is under the yoke and the siege kabarata sadi salata parandesh kebarus kadila kapa krate gadila kosia covenants of fathers they went to consult powers to look for wealth and it backfired help them please harato shadegedea covenants of fathers when to meet enchanters to give them the power to make wealth it is only god who can lift and give sustainable blessings right now i decree and declare anyone bring them out any family under the siege of the covenant that leads to hardship paratos i'm seeing fire just coming on people breaking covenants innocent people went to consult with mediums consult with spirits of the dead slept in graveyards all in the search for wealth i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit i decree and declare that covenant is broken now that covenant is broken now that curse is lifted now that covenant is broken now wicked spirits that will not allow individuals rise wicked spirits that will not allow your glory to be seen even financially putting you in a position of perpetual embarrassment you start a business it dies you get a job they sack you you step into partnership you go down in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of the aforementioned by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now listen I've shared with you you have listened to my encounters but let me share this with you for those of you who have not heard it please bring them will soon be seated thank you for your patience I told you that many years ago I was praying in my room then and while praying the Lord opened my eyes and suddenly my ceiling shifted and it was no longer the building and then I'm seeing this creature looking at me giant eyes one of the eyes was like a human head two of them and then it looked like something like a dinosaur and then the tail the tail had its own life that means you could detach the tail and it would still be alive and I saw it with red eyes looking at me and he said so you want to bring God's people into blessings and I saw that that is the spirit that is responsible for the poverty of territories 
sitting over the glory of man from the day i saw that thing i knew that there there is a dimension of poverty that comes with laziness there is a dimension of poverty that comes with lack of value and lack of product productivity but hear me there is a dimension of poverty that is spiritual i'm saying it again everyone here trapped under the yoke of that spirit or your loved ones they may not be here some of them have been abroad for years but there is absolutely nothing to show for it some of them have been in several regions walking in choice places but this spirit will not let them build a glorious life in the name that is above all names i command that influence to live now i command that yoke broken now one of the strategies of satan to distract your commitment towards spiritual things is to use economic distraction the moment you are distracted economically you will not have the time to focus on the things of god hallelujah i declare deliverance for these ones by the power that is in the name of jesus christ be delivered right now in the name of jesus christ amen please be seated if you can One of the blessings, please look up, one of the blessings of miracles and signs and wonders and supernatural manifestations of the hand of God, one of the blessings is that it can cause men to know for a shorty that there is a God in heaven that rules over the affairs of men when the miraculous is absent most times that god consciousness is lost over the lives of a people but when they see the mighty manifestation of the hand of god it can reveal to them the might and the power of god then it also reveals to them the states of their hearts it was by the miracle that happened to peter peter was fishing and he did not catch anything and Jesus said, little children, have you any catch? He said, cast your net to the right side. When he caught so much fish, he looked at Jesus and said, depart from me. I am a sinner. Something about that miracle revealed to him the state of his heart. Hallelujah. When the miraculous happens without Jesus being at the center of it, let me tell you what happens. People enjoy the miracles they receive the manifestations of the power of God, but most times their attention will just end on the man who was used by God to perform the miracle and they forget about Jesus and they never live with a functional relationship with Jesus Christ. I've shared with you my passion and this is our passion in this ministry that in everything and through everything that is done, the entire goal is to use it as a means to cause men to believe in that name the name of jesus the one exalted as lord and christ if we lose that then no matter what happens no matter how powerful and how great it is it will be very small as far as impact is concerned from the standpoint of heaven god's measure of impact is the degree to which that activity revealed jesus not just to the degree to which the activity blessed men blessing men is secondary the degree to which whatever activity reveals jesus and glorifies him is how impactful that activity was as far as the realm of the spirit is concerned and then of course the degree to which it transformed and blessed people so the miracle service is really no miracle service except and unless it is able to connect people to Jesus Christ 
the son of the living god let me show you two scriptures and then i'll begin to minister proper mark chapter 3 we'll start reading from verse 13 mark 3 13 mark chapter 3 from verse 13 the bible says and he goeth up into a mountain the he being jesus and called unto him whom he would and they came unto him verse 14 he says and he ordained 12 to what end number one that they should be with him then and they and that he might send them forth to preach the first assignment is the relationship he didn't just call them to be preachers he called them to be with him to build a functional relationship with him and then they should go forth and preach verse 15 the last verse now it says and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils all because they were with him are we together now desiring the miraculous desiring the manifestation of the power of god in isolation to that desire to know jesus will lead men to catastrophe you will receive the miracles but it will not profit you because the presence of the person that immunes you permanently from that attack and that onslaught of darkness is not there so whatever you receive through the prophetic or through whatever vessel god uses will always be temporary you see when you go to a herbalist a native doctor a spiritist a diviner he's not interested in a relationship with you all he wants you don't even need to know his name except if the spirit ask him to ask you the name otherwise you can just go and say look i'm looking for power to get wealth or power to do this and that and he tells you he will bring the list go and provide this once you provide it he does it he gives you whatever you have to collect and you leave you don't need to know his name he doesn't need to know your name in fact you may not even know where you went to because usually it's wicked people that take others there so it's possible that you don't even know the place you just know that you were driving in thick darkness until you got somewhere so satan is not interested in, re in a relationship he's interested in oppression he does not lead people through relationships he leads people through fear are we together now but when you come to jesus more than just giving you things he wants to build that relationship with you and then on the strength of that relationship he can now release you to first be the number one beneficiary of that relationship through the manifestation of his hand on your life then from the standpoint of that conviction you can now reach others this is how it works when he met moses he was not just interested in sending Moses to Pharaoh. He had that relationship with Moses, a deeper relationship. Moses said, who shall I tell Pharaoh has sent me? And he said, I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh I am had sent you. Are we together? In Acts chapter 4, Acts chapter 4, We'll start reading from verse 8. Acts chapter 4 and verse 8. This was, this was Peter in defense. He was, he was defending the miracle that just happened to the man at Gate Beautiful. Before the elders and the council. He said, Peter filled with the Holy Ghost. Said unto them, ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel. If we this day be examined of the good deed done. To the impotent man and by what means he is made whole next verse be it known unto you all peter now and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him doth this man stand here before you all that means peter was saying the miracle is not the most important thing the miracle is a signpost leading you to the person you crucify so he performs the miracle to remind you that you once crucified him but now he's alive and he can reach out to you next verse he says this is the stone 
which was set at naught, you know, you builders, and has become the chief of the corner. We're reading verse 12. He said, neither is there salvation in any other. Look at how one miracle gives him an opportunity to preach a sound sermon. Are you seeing that now? So that it was not just the miracle. The miracle was the basis to now introduce Jesus. Neither is there salvation in any other. Now, if he did not perform the miracle and he said, neither is there salvation, they would charge him of blasphemy. But now his result was standing before him while he would preach. So even though they didn't want to agree with him, they could not deny what salvation had come to that man. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. 13. It says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled. Why? They took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. The basis of their exploits, they had been with Jesus. Not that they had listened to Jesus. Not that they had received impartation from Jesus. They had been with Jesus. The presence and the relationship factor was what was responsible for that marvel. Every time we are used by God to heal the sick, to cast out devils, to bring all kinds of mighty manifestations of God's power, listen carefully, over the lives of people and over territories, it is to this end. That means if you just stop at celebrating the miracle, you rob God of an opportunity to be introduced to men. The miracles are the evidences you need to stand before you while you remind the world that there is a name and there is only one who is worthy of their allegiance, their loyalty, one who has given his life for them. Your gospel is not complete if all you do is celebrate miracles. The miracles are signs. A sign points that there is something greater than itself. If you want to go say to a barbing saloon and you're looking for it and then they tell you there's XYZ saloon here, the sign leads you there. If you stand before the sign and you keep admiring the sign and say what beautiful, um, um, what beautiful signpost, this is wonderful. You're not, it, it will not profit you. It's not the sign that will give you a haircut. The sign only directs you. Is that true? It is good to celebrate miracles. It is good to celebrate signs and wonders, the manifestations of the hand of God. But I remind you again, I remind you again, I remind you again, that at the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Not Joshua Selman. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Let me tell you a secret. This is one of the reasons why many people, respectfully, even we men and women of God, we do not see the power of God in ever-increasing dimension. Because we are ashamed of getting out of the way to let people see Jesus projected through our lives. We feel very embarrassed if we have to move out of the way because we feel as though God is cheating or scamming us. Now is my opportunity to shine. I need to stand before that miracle so that I receive an attestation that it was through me it happened. But those who love Jesus say it's not necessary. The most important thing is to verify if Jesus will be lifted through that process. Are you getting it now? Learn this as a principle. Every time I pray for the miracle service or any other service for that matter, believe me, my prayer as always is, Lord, walk wonders in the midst of your people. But whilst you are doing that, as they look at me, may they see you. I've told you, you are not yielded when your presence reminds people of you. 
your presence must remind people of Jesus that's how you know you are yielded that means when they look at you strangely the more they see you the more they forget about you and another image is what is built in their hearts so they look at you for five minutes and they nod their head and say Jesus you are mighty are we together yes is the reason why there is a lot of confusion as to who performed the miracle because for a long time we kept silencing Jesus in the equation and we kept projecting ourselves so now the people know preacher a preacher b preacher c and there's nothing wrong with that except that in magnifying ourselves we shut Jesus out of the program so many of the people who were healed when they came back they did not find us and we did not leave Jesus with them so they we became their idols because we we're supposed to present Jesus so that even when we are not there he'll be there with them because he's the friend that stick it closer than a brother are we together yes tonight you have come because the Lord brought you here by his spirit to bless you to lift you I believe in the whole counsel of God and when we spend time learning the ways of God like we do week in week out there must be moments in every meeting where we dedicate that time to allow Jesus come in the midst of his people to take burdens away to open up doors you will never truly be able to serve God acceptably living a defeated life by Satan there must be an evidence to your gospel there must be an evidence to your gospel so miracle services are designed to give that opportunity that God will step in and help his people and and all of a sudden you see people come to testify the mighty hand of God in a moment in a twinkling of an eye an age-long captivity just like that I've been involved in the miracle ministry for a while and the ministry of signs and wonders and I can tell you sincerely you will think that after many years of seeing these things you should get used to it you know like a professional a, a consultant or you know an architect or someone who has been in the thing for a long time but for every time every time I marvel at the wonder walking power of Jesus when I see people coming here just because a man spoke when I see people's lives just open like that, like a book that was closed and now it's open. When I see people receiving these things, it, it, that is a message to me as the preacher. The wonder walking God. Look what he's able to do. That from one point you can stand as representing him and you are speaking to nations and territories. And the spirit of the living God who is not bounded by time and distance go into the lives of people and correcting all kinds of things and somebody will leave and say I can't find that pain again the pain did not go it was driven you think the pain wants to go no I can't find that captivity again by Monday morning someone is ringing your phone where are you I'm here please come what for you just come aha uh -huh. and you get into a place of prepared blessings and you sit down and ask yourself what am I doing here what am I doing here what am I doing here then he reminds you do not lose this opportunity to project Jesus when you return back and tell people look what Jesus has done usually they will clap for you and say things like you are lucky or your man of God is powerful or where did you go to get the miracle after telling them all those things tell them hold on we are not done if I just stop here with you celebrating the miracle I wasted an opportunity because all of this thing is supposed to bring glory to the name of Jesus and you would join them to worship Jesus and say Jesus thank you this has happened so that men will know that you are still in the business of making you are still in the business of lifting you are still in the business of changing and 
let me tell you what happens God will look at you and say wow because of this that has happened right now someone who was not serious will say so what do I do now and you can give him one message to listen to and heaven is clapping for you you did not waste that miracle you are ready for another one because this your evangelism is effective one open door now three people are coming to Jesus you will leave that office and someone is saying Lord I think I need to be serious with you I'm tired of this kind of thing and he tells you get ready for another one someone is calling you and you come and see him hold a key and say God said I should give you the key to this house house sorry this is my name he said exactly that house please don't embarrass me if you are a scammer I can leave you to go in peace it is yours and you stand before that house and raise a song until everybody is gathered there and they say what are you singing for ah and with our hands lifted up we will worship our king and with our hands lifted up we come before you rejoicing with our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why we just tell them we love in our king oh we just tell them we love in our king. look at me if you are a business owner we're about to pray if you're a business owner and someone comes to you and you give him your product and say I'm giving you this product just just for visiting me and in three hours he returns with ten clients and he said what for and he said I, I there is something this man presented your product in a way that we need to see who made this will you throw that person away will you allow them kill that person hmm. and then the person says can you give me the privilege and you say how much will I pay you and he said no 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 I don't need payment it's an honor for me to be able to market this five hours later you bring in 50 people there will be a board meeting on your case immediately and say although this guy does not seem like he's employed there is something about his tenacity a whole city comes to know that product and to love that business and the owner because of your influence do you know what will happen they will make you something called a brand ambassador are we together Who, a brand ambassador means that you have you have the level of influence to compel people to pay attention no matter what they invest in you they don't see it as a loss because it's nothing compared to what comes to them on account of your presence so when god tests you with a little anointing a little breakthrough one open door here and there one contract of five hundred thousand and you don't see, he does not see you again you hear tight you say god forbid <laughs> okay at least bless other people no 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 kingdom advancement nothing you run away and then when it's over you come and say god are you not merciful he says i'm merciful but you are not productive i won't drive you but i will watch you love is not conditional but trust is conditional both the man he gave five talents two talents and one talent he loved all of them but he did not trust all of them can i tell you this i have learned from scripture by the privilege of god's grace through my life i give you a great secret get out of the way and let jesus be seen through your life it is truly the secret of rest in getting out of the way you will find out that everywhere you move to men will move there too because there is something about the efficiency of your witness so all the miracles that happen in this house the miracles that have happened and the many more that will be happening shortly may i remind you dear people of god and the nations of the earth that this is not just about Joshua Selman thank God for the privilege of ministry the privilege of partnership with the Holy Spirit 
but I'm drumming it to you again that more than this man standing there is one who is high and lifted up and that for everything you see happen here see it as a message a message if you come to me I can pray for you I can bless you but if you go to him he will give you life everlasting the highest I can show you is compassion but when you go to him he says and I if I be lifted up from the earth I will draw all men to myself this appetite for fame this appetite to want to be the face behind the manifestation of everything I want to be the one listen we will keep punishing ourselves forever and ever and not get anything be lifted high be lifted high oh lord be lifted high for you are holy everything god does in your life listen to me and everything god does through you must directly project jesus oh you are a kingdom millionaire and you just sit down and say well i, I don't want to be proud but i mean this is no don't just say hey, glory to god carelessly be intentional god means many things which one a young man comes to you and says well I, I'm, I'm looking for a business mentor you are a billionaire help me you don't just sit down and start telling him do this buy and sell no listen young man let me tell you this Jesus Christ is the Alpha and Omega of my life before we talk business principles I present to you the one who helped me I don't know how he helped my neighbor but this is the one who helped me the person may not want to take you seriously, but your evidence is before you. Are we together? If every politician, every businessman, every man of God, every career person, every successful person makes a determination that your life will reveal and project Jesus, not in a way of some fanatism that downplays others, no. A sincere declaration of your faith and your conviction that you love him with all your heart and your life is a testament of what he can do believe me if this becomes your disposition sit back and watch with wonder how your life becomes an unending is like it's like a page that opens and never comes to an end one miracle one manifestation of the power of God after another just when you think you have exhausted everything you will see another dimension again this is a simple secret that I'm giving you tonight you will think that because you've heard it once and again you've gotten it the desire of man to replace Christ as far as the spotlight is concerned is unbelievable it will take the Word of God penetrating your mind and bringing you to a point where you see the profitability of projecting Jesus I will give this last example and we'll pray I can't remember where I gave it I, I'm, I, I'm sure it was here that this bar right here is holding this beautiful this this um, pulpit here the play, the center of focus is not the bar the center of focus is the pulpit here this um, are we together now but then this the assignment of this bar is to hold this in place your attention is not on the bar but no matter how you close your eyes provided you look at this bar you must see this too you see it now so while this does not become the ultimate focus this is where your eyes is but whatever is lifting it high for you to see must also be featured there this is how we are jesus is the central focus he is the one who should be the object of people's admiration 
but because of the privilege of standing in partnership with the Holy Spirit to lift him it is impossible for you to just see him and yet not see the one lifting him John said I may decrease he didn't say that I will vanish no we don't vanish and that decreasing is only relative to how high and mighty he is because no matter how small you are if it's Jesus you are lifting you are big his size will magnify you it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God and I surrender oh you alone are God and I surrender it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God and I surrender oh you alone are God join me and sing this song one more time it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God ah. it's all about you Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your fame it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone are God and I surrender this is your prayer now oh you alone are God and I surrender I surrender that ambition I surrender that ministry I surrender that family oh you alone are God This is all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you, truly, it's for your glory and your fame, it's not about me, as if you should do things my way, you alone are God and i surrender i say people oh you alone are god and we surrender i say businessman you alone are god and i surrender listen anything you hand over to god you can guarantee that it will not die hand over your children to him hand over your business that is killing you jesus said my yoke is easy there are people carrying all kinds of luggages that jesus did not give them luggage of ego luggage of demonic oppression luggage of ignorance and confusion you alone are god and i surrender This is the miracle service so a real miracle is happening to you as you are listening to me 
I do not know anyone who gets to a point of total surrender and leaves the presence of God without a miracle. No, not this God. It's all about you. Listen to what you are saying. Jesus. Hold on. Don't rush the song. For some of you, your version of the song is, it's all about you, my destiny helper. For some of you, the song is, it's all about you, government. For some of you, it's all about you, oil and gas. It's all about you, real estate. It's all about you, federal government job. It's all about you, job with UN. Job with, um, uh, mention all the places. Some of you, it's all about you, ministry, church. Some of you, it's all about you, preaching, apostle, prophet. My simple assignment before I pray for you is that sincerely from your heart, you're going to replace all those idols with only one name. Those things only find their value when he's lifted above them. They are not useless. I've taught you all these things. These are success systems. It is not very difficult for God to exalt and lift and honor a people. It is a degree to which he finds himself lifted in you. So as I sing that song, don't join me. Listen and pray. I'll sing it two or three times and then I'll minister to you. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Don't just, you are not listening to it. I'm, I'm not a musician. I'm not singing a special number. I'm sending something from the realm of the spirit into your spirit. Telling you, give up that pride. Jesus is talking to you now. Let him win that war once and for all over your destiny. It's all about you in my life, Jesus. And all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. As if you should do things my way. You alone are God and I surrender. It's all about you. Jesus and all this is for you it's for your glory and your faith it's not about me as if you should do things my way you alone at God and I surrender one more time it's all about you, Jesus, and all this is for you, it's for your glory and your fame, it's not about me, as if you should do things my way, you alone are God. Oh, oh, you alone are God, and I surrender. Oh, oh, you alone are God, and I surrender. This is true. I surrender everything, ambitions. The quest for success the passion to make it I don't throw it away I only surrender don't bow down if your crown is still on your head the 24 elders remove their crown that's what gives their bowing down value don't bow before the king with your crown on your head that Lord no matter what you make out of my life and no matter where you take me my assignment is that through your marvelous workings in my life, the nations will see you. They will see you exalted.
He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise His name. He is the Lord, forever His truth shall reign, heaven and earth rejoicing. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 